Cowabunga dudes! What's up guys, I'm MD Shady and today we're going to be listing off my top 10 favorite TMNT or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Funko Pop. So let's get to it. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Ahem. <clears throat> hmm. Notification bell? Oh. So like I said, and if you can't tell by the hat and the shirt, we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 favorite TMNT Funko Pops. There's a ton of TMNT Funko Pops, especially with the new Mutant Mayhem movie that is about to release. There's a ton to go through, so I picked out 10 different pops with one honorable mention, and I feel like a lot of these pops are really cool. There is a ton of different versions of each of the turtles, and there are a few different versions of some of the different villains, so let's narrow it down to 10 that I think are the best to add to your collection if you are starting off a collection of TMNT Funko Pops. So starting off at number 10, I have Toka. This is a really cool pop. It goes hand in hand with the Razar, Razar, and I think that the Toka is a little bit better. I like the head sculpt a lot and the body is pretty cool as well. Obviously, this is an awesome villain from TMNT with the live action movies. I think that this pop just turned out really, really well. I do have it in my collection, but there are nine other pops that I do think are better. In one of those pops, coming in at number nine is the New York Comic Con 2022 exclusive Raphael as Red Ranger. I know I had to add one of these turtle pops in here with the mashup from the Power Rangers and I feel like the Red Ranger slash Raphael is the best one. The colors just match up perfectly. I really enjoy how this pop looks though all of them are really cool. The Shredder is really cool. The Leonardo is also cool. The Donatello is really cool, but the purple and the black doesn't really go together as well as I feel like the Red Ranger with Raphael go. Spoilers, none of those pops are actually going to beat this pop because I do think it is the best out of this like subset of TMNT pops. Coming in at number eight on the list, I have the San Diego Comic-Con 2017 exclusive Baxter Stockman. This pop's wicked. The head sculpt on here with the fly head is really cool. You have the four arms as well as you have the wings and there was a glow-in-the-dark version of this but I've never actually seen that pop in person and I don't know how good the glow is and I don't know what exactly it looks like before the glow if it is like a green pop or if it is the normal color so I'm just sticking to the original Baxter Stockman that was an exclusive for San Diego Comic-Con in 2017 which is actually one of my favorite cons of all time I felt like there were such good exclusives there and Baxter Stockman is definitely no exception to that this is a really cool pop and I feel like the head sculpt as well as the body sculpt on this are what make it such a sweet one. Coming in at number seven on my list, I have the Target exclusive Metallic Super Shredder. Now there was a few different variations of this pop. Of course, there is the original one that has kind of like the gray look to the metal on his costume. There is of course this one, which is the metallic one. And then there is the glow in the dark one, as well as I believe there was a 10 inch Super Shredder, but I like the metallic one the best. I feel like this one looks the best. The metallic look to it just gives a nice shine to his attire, whereas with the common, it's very gray and it's kind of dulled out, whereas I feel like it has to be this nice shiny look with the metal attire. And uh, this is a cool pop played by Kevin Nash, which is really sweet. <laughs> I definitely enjoy this one. I don't have the metallic one in my collection yet, but maybe one day soon and I can maybe get rid of the common that I do have in my collection. Coming in at number six on my list, my favorite character from TMNT, and that is the specialty series, Casey Jones. I think this pop looks wicked. I do think there is room to improve to make a better Casey Jones pop, but I do really like the specialty series one. I think that one looks really cool. The one for the live action movies or whatever the, I guess it was the, the retro toys lineup. I think that that one's really good as well, but I do like that classic look of Casey Jones with this pop. Now making it halfway through the list, we have an OG TMNT pop and that is of Bebop. For such an old pop, I feel like this one still holds up today. The way that it looks with the glasses, the head sculpt is good. It is a little funky and kind of silly looking, but I think it's just enough where it still holds up and it looks great. 
It's a pop that I've seen many times recently at toy shows and cons, and I just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. It is pretty expensive, but at the same time, it is a really cool pop, and it's not too, too pricey. It's something that is kind of affordable, especially when you are going to a place like a con. So out of all the OG pops, I feel like the Bebop is the one that I actually do want to have in my collection the most. Coming in at number four on my list, I didn't realize that this pop isn't actually exclusive to anything. It wasn't from a con, it wasn't exclusive to a store, and that is the turtle van, the Pops Rides turtle van. This is awesome. It comes with uh, Michelangelo, I believe, and I think that that's a perfect choice for the turtle van. The turtle van itself looks really, really cool, and I think like nowadays this would definitely be exclusive to somewhere, but back in the day it wasn't. This pop is also pretty pricey, but it's also not that bad, especially when you get like a whole size turtle van, which is really, really cool. The colors on it look great, and the pop of Mikey himself is also pretty good. Yes, friends, the new Turbo Game. It dices, it slices, and yet makes french fries in three different Whoops! Coming in at number three on my list, I have the Entertainment Earth exclusive six inch Krang. This thing is awesome. I do own that pop in my collection. It is just over there. This is really cool. I actually found this at Fan Expo maybe last year or the year before that, and it was only like 25 or 30 bucks that I paid for it, which I think is a great deal, especially when it is an exclusive pop and a six inch pop nonetheless. And the details on this thing are awesome. You have, of course, Krang, like the little squid brain guy, and then of course he does have his like mech suit like thing which is I guess also Krang but that is really really cool love this pop Krang is sweet every action figure that they put out of Krang is awesome and I think that Funko definitely nailed it with this pop version of Krang. Coming in at number two on my list, I have the Amazon exclusive glow-in-the-dark four pack of Michelangelo, Leonardo, Raphael, and Donatello. This thing is great. I feel like if you want to get the turtles in your collection, this is kind of the way to do it. They might not be the best, like you might like the live action slash retro toys versions better, but the OGs are pretty cool as well. And here you get all four of them in one pack and they are glow-in-the-dark, which is awesome. I believe that it is is the skin so like the green on them that is glow in the dark and green glows very well when it comes to term to the vinyl products that Funko puts out so I feel like the glow on these are really awesome and I mean they're the OG ones I knew that I wanted to add them somehow into this list and I feel like this just makes sense you can get all four of them at once and then I don't have to pick between the four OG turtle pops because they're all really cool in their own way and before I get on to my favorite TMNT pop I want to mention an honorable mention and that is Raza I wanted to add it to the list, but I feel like I already had Toka and they kind of go hand in hand. So I figured that I would put him as the honorable mention because this pop does look sweet as well. I think that Toka just had the edge a little bit putting him at number 10. But if this was a top 11 list, I probably would have Razar as number 11 because this pop's pretty sweet as well. And like I said, they go hand in hand. So it just makes sense to mention both of them. And then finally, number one, my favorite TMNT pop and actually probably my favorite pop of all time, the 2014 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive limited to 1,000 pieces, Leonardo as SpongeBob or SpongeBob as Leonardo and Plankton as Shredder in the lunchbox. This pop is phenomenal. It is a pop that I've wanted for so many years now and it's very, very expensive. In hindsight, I probably should have bought it years ago when it was still very expensive, but then at least it was a little bit more like in reach. Now it's kind of slipping away recently top pops did just get one of these I guess not just it, this was probably almost a year ago at this point but what a great pop I love this so much it's got two properties that I love so much with TMNT as well as Spongebob mashed together and I think it looks great this way the green that Spongebob is to represent the turtles and then of course he has the Leonardo headband on and then having uh, Plankton be Shredder is just hilarious how he's kind of like a poppin' buddy almost and he's got the little Shredder costume on and then it comes in the really cool like lunchbox kind of thing with the window on the front so it's not really your like generic pop box it actually is a lunchbox that it comes in we have seen of course Funko lunchboxes but nothing quite like this where there is a window where you can see the pop on the inside because normally the Funko lunchboxes don't actually come with a pop. Hopefully one day I can get this into my collection and I can show it off for you guys because it is basically my holy grail at this point in my collection or not in my collection but for my collection so I knew it had to come at number one for a TMNT top 10 list. Those jerks belong in a zoo not the streets. 
Dumb, dumb, dumb. Those dudes are so dumb. But anyways, guys, there you have it. Those are my top 10 favorite TMNT Funko Pops. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know, did I forget about any really cool TMNT Pops that you think should have been added to my top 10 list? And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. But anyways, guys, that's all the time I have for today. Hope you guys have a great one. Peace in, peace out.